So to be honest, I actually haven't seen that many dramas with Cecilia Liu, but from what I've seen so far, her dramas are usually low-key watchable, I mean besides Scarlet Heart. Like, they're not masterpieces, but they're definitely worth checking out. This drama, for example, The Imperial Doctors, like, there are things in the beginning you don't like that much, but watching it, you know you're not taking that big of a risk, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's just look at the first episode. Now, the drama begins with the narrator telling you all the reasons why you don't want to be a woman in this era. It's an introduction to Neo-Confucianism and the Ming Dynasty's adaptations of it. It's a long introduction, so let me just summarize it for you, okay? Basically, if you're a woman, having a job is frowned upon. If your family is rich, your job is to catch husband and look pretty. If you're poor, then I guess your only choice is to be a slave or a concubine because earning money is seen as inappropriate. Only men can get paid and not be made fun of. So yeah, our female lead Yunxian lives in such a difficult time. On a particular day, Yunxian attends a birthday party of a no noble woman. Now, outwardly, the young woman acts like really hospitable and excited about the party attendees, but I bet she doesn't even know what gift she's receiving even if someone makes up a random name for their gift. Which is understandable because parties like this are usually meant to uh, show off your money or, you know, finding a, a suitable wife for your son or your grandson. Now, Yunxian, being a lover of medicine, is not that interested in socializing. He just kind of keeps an eye out for weird plants that grows on the ground. She discovers one and she looks like how Hua Xiongu looks when she sees Bai Tsuhua's back in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying. A little bit later, due to an unexpected visit from very violent soldiers who are looking for a criminal, the old woman collapses from shock. Yunxin gets super excited because now's the chance for her to prove herself while the real doctor hasn't arrived yet, which she did. After some confusion, she manages to get the old woman conscious again. However, things become a little complicated for Yunxian when she learns that the mistress of the house has sent a thank you note and some gifts to her house to express their gratitude. So as predicted, when she gets home, her father is like, how dare you disgrace me and just go out there and save someone's life? Have I not taught you how to be a decent human being? And then he starts beating her with a whip. Only until her grandma shows up to plead her case does he let her go. Now the beating leaves Yunxian injured little though, but apparently none of those whips hit her face. Afterwards, the father also burns all the medicine books and makes Yunxian promise to only do what proper ladies do from now on. You know, like walking around really slowly and pretending like you care when someone plays music. But I don't think the grandma takes any of that seriously though, because just a few days later, she begins to teach Yunxian acupuncture. Now at this time, it turns out that the old lady that Yunxian healed earlier is having relapses due to the prescription she wrote. And now that family has to consult their usual doctor. Look, dude, letting a random person help your mom in a life and death situation, I can understand. But giving your mom the medicine prescribed by that same person without checking with the real doctor first, it's kind of your fault. You see this guy's reaction right here? That's me, okay? Now let's talk a little about the romance aspect of the drama. So, in the course of two episodes, Yunxian comes across two guys. One of them is saved by her while injured in a cave during that party. The other one, who just kinda has punched me in the face written all over his forehead, assists her when she's trying to save a sick woman. And they both look like male lead material, to be honest. So yeah, I guess it depends on your preferences in this case, or the writer's ability to keep them likable and consistent. 